welcome to the community meeting for May. I'm about to open up the community meeting text channel. If you want to participate and talk, you can go ahead and write in there now. Okay, so any uh, communication from you guys to us is going to be done in the uh, community meeting channel, so feel free to type there throughout the meeting. So a couple things to go over for Squad Ops. So first off, V11 was released, and with V11 came the Brits and all these cool toys. Uh, so far, we have been able to run three servers continually popped. Uh, those three servers are the whitelist, the invasion server, and the invasion insurgency server. Uh, a couple things that we are looking towards doing is making the whitelist locked down to whitelist registrants only. Uh, we're looking at uh, mixing around a couple of the rotations. We do know that the invasion server rotation is a little wonky right now. That will be fixed tomorrow morning. We also know that the uh, whitelist entry on the invasion insurgencies layer was not working that will that list will go up tomorrow as well so both those issues have been fixed they'll be fixed uh tomorrow morning um so yeah that's gonna happen uh we have looked at trying to add a you know aas pas and conquest only server we're looking at that uh we're looking at insurgency and invasions only servers and how those are doing um yeah uh, as always with all these big patches a lot of new players are coming back to the game or com coming to the game and a lot of veteran players are coming back uh with this huge surge of course there are a lot of inexperienced players we ask that you you know keep calm try to teach players how to play and uh keep being great members of this community um so yeah keeping all that in mind uh we're gonna do a small poll here straw poll oh no the straw polls are back uh, we're going to be polling if map, if player map markers should be in the squad ops one life mod, event mod. So what this is, is the player, as, as, as some of you who played in V10 ops know, um, we removed the player markers. So... Unless you were a squad leader, a medic, or no. fire team leader, everyone else disappeared from the map. So right now, we're pulling to see if you uh, you guys like that change or you guys want that to be reversed. Uh, so let me know right here if they should be in the map or in the mod. Excuse me. Um, what else were we gonna pull? We we're gonna pull the whitelist only thing. What did Muff want to pull? Does anyone remember? Uh, you should. All right. A small note as far as um, staff applications while we're doing this poll uh, are we are looking for admins for the public servers and event admins for the events. So if you're looking to get into squad ops and help the community and, and uh, you know, where we need help mo the most, that would be the events, admins, and the admins. Okay? All right. So make sure you sign in to the uh, staff apps, which are in the readme, and you do that. Because we're looking for admins and event admins now. And we'll get through those this week, hopefully. Um, does any manager in here want to make an announcement? I don't think I have too many. All right. And then we have a second poll. Server only have ASS con. Yes, no. All right, and here we go with this one. This is, should the whitelist only have AES and Conquest, or should it also have Insurgency and Invasion? That asks two questions. Does it? AES, Conquest, or all modes? Answers are yes or no. <laughs> well, if it all should right. not have AES, Conquest... Eliminate... That, yeah, it, it's it'll either have AS or Conquest or all the modes. Yes, it should have. Oh fuck, fuck my life, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, no would mean all modes. Nix, yeah, no would mean all modes. Yes would mean AS slash Conquest. 
My, I didn't put all my brain into thinking about that one. Tap just linked the staff applications for event and uh, admin, which are both in need. We're also looking for uh, people who know JS and Angular for web design. So if you know JS and Angular, go ahead and drop that in the staff application as well, because we're looking for those. So we've noticed uh, another thing that we've noticed with V11 is that the tick rate is fucked when it gets full pop. That is a known issue. It's a known issue in a lot of other servers. We're trying to figure out what it is. As far as we can tell right now, it seems to be just V11. But right now, uh, server uh, tick rates hit like nine ticks per second once the server's full pop with vehicles driving around and the vehicles just spin out of control. That is a known issue. We're looking into it. But as far as we can tell, it's just something that came with um, V11. Uh, I think that's pretty much it as far as the cool stuff going on with Squad Ops this month. We're just staffing up again for those two teams. Uh, V11 and all the servers, we're going to be working through our server rotations and how we're what, what servers are spinning up over the next week. Um, and then we're looking for new admins and event admins as well. Uh, at this point in time, in the community meeting, we're going to turn it on to you guys. And if you guys have any questions right now, uh, I will see uh i'll answer any questions regarding squad ops what would it take for more ops more for more event admin staff i think still don't see to. how to be whitelisted so to be whitelisted you have to register squad ops.gg like you should already be registered there candy land because you have basic yes, yes you you're already whitelisted, whitelisted. <laughs> Optics and ops, good or bad, no optics and ops. That's that's a hands down I'm telling you right now. Reason why, uh, to give the backstory story real quick, the reason why we don't allow optics in the ops is because it's no fun being picked off three, four, five hundred meters away, and essentially one of those people with the optics can keep a whole team at bay, or at least a squad. In the mod, yes. Are the kits modified to not have optics? Yes. In the mod, yeah, as Hyper just said. What is Squad Ops going to be doing about the new faction Bradley's Warriors and balancing amongst them? Right now, we don't plan on having any IFVs and Ops as of right now. Um, but yeah. It'll take a little bit. I mean, with any big update that we usually do, it takes like a couple of weeks for us to actually roll anything out. Sometimes a little more than that. Since it's already mentioned there's no official support for us from PostScript MK, the managers or general staff speak for running events within it. Right now we're focusing on squad. PostScript them doesn't even have a release date. We're not going to worry about it right now. How come some recent ops have had optics after v uh, V11's release? Because our mod is not up to date yet. It's going to take the mod team a couple of weeks to actually update the uh, mod to actually work on the event server again. Yeah, and if still keep it downloaded. Don't get rid of it. Keep it downloaded, so that way when it does get updated, it'll automatically get pushed to you guys. Also, the big test op to see that all the vehicles, which are the major thing that have to be updated, work again, will in fact include IFVs. So, rejoice, those of you whose dream is to sit in a Bradley and, and shoot at BTRs. Oh, and that also means they have to. Uh, have you got the SDK yet? Did they update that nope. for you guys yet? Uh, okay, so <laughs> so there oh, you go. Please. Once the SDK is updated, then the event uh, or the event team, the mod team can actually start updating the mod. So, like he said, hopefully tomorrow. If not, mm, we'll see how long it takes. Xbit, any plans on the next campaign? Well, there is a holiday weekend coming up. <laughs> well, there you go. Um. Any idea when the hardcore server is coming? Testing's coming soon, uh, Pony. Yeah. Okay. So the factions are done. The game modes. We have a pretty good idea of that. Going to be heavy on conquest. Um, sets very replayable. And hopefully, once the actual squad ups mod is updated, it'll probably take me another couple weeks to get the hardcore mode in the testable shape, and then we'll roll right into testing.
so one month TM. We've we've done that before, Jack. Yeah, we're we're still uh, doing this whenever we can. Next one soon, TM. Why well, know we're loading in ops? Because reloading can get really meta gamey really fast. Uh, we might consider it with the vehicles now that vehicles um, come with ammunition. So that's a possibility, but no promises. The f the thing with the rearming is people like to just spam the ammo and they don't take conservative shots. So yeah, it doesn't really help out with like yeah. keeping you guys immersed. If you know you can reload your hat kit three times. <laughs> yeah. Crossover. I'm just going to unload everything all the time. <laughs> That's actually a good idea there. Any plans to bring back Death Run Ops or Reg versus Staff Ops? Special event ops, yeah. Uh, we got to find a time slot. We've been saying that for like a month now, I know. Um, we'll try to get on it this month. We do have a couple cool custom Staff game modes that we haven't thought uh, or we have in mind now that the uh, knives are in. We're gonna bring BR in. <laughs> When's the knife only server oh, going? Oh wow! Out? Apparently, they updated the uh, numbers of squad members it needs to claim a vehicle. All right, uh, what's the most important thing when applying for staff? Number one, you're professional and mature. Um, and that uh, you mesh along with the, uh, with the community. That's probably the most important thing. After that, it depends on qualifications, uh, especially for mod dev and web dev. You need to be you know, somewhat competent in those languages, simply because those are very technical teams. Um, but yeah, I'd definitely say uh, just meshing along with the community well is a is a big one. I'm pretty sure admins will take any kind of admins, doesn't matter what time zone you're in. If they if you're a good fit, I'm sure they'll look at your application and go from there. You guys prefer admins? We need admins all over the place. <laughs> we, we prefer to have off-hour admins. <laughs> Will more realistic situations, roleplay stories, and further immersion come to squad ops? We're always looking to push the limits of what we can do within practical uh, bounds. So, yeah, you can definitely look forward to some things happening. You need to be staffed to be stream commentator, right? Yeah. That's a good question, AK. Uh, that's when will new soon. squad ops? Yeah, uh, the question was, when will new squad ops uh, swag uh, drop? Merchandise, pretty much, is what he's talking about. That's something that we've just cut on talking about, I believe, like two weeks ago or so, or last week. So be on the lookout soon, hopefully. That new logo, hopefully, will get updated on the website, Barton. Yeah. All right, but uh, yeah, we'll wrap it up here in a couple of minutes. If you guys have any questions at all, let me know. If you guys want to stick around a little longer and ask more questions, I'll uh, I'll stay for a little bit longer. So right now, uh, what about squad ops forms, ops badges? We we don't have a forms right now, so there's a reason why there's really no op badges going on. I mean, don't get me wrong. We are tracking the ops badges still, uh, especially with soap in the bot. It automatically tags you guys with it. However, there's no forms on the website, but that is soon to change. Forms will be coming, but it might take a little time. I'm not saying it's going to be like really soon, but they will be in development. All right, Hyper, you got this? Yeah. Uh, do you think there will ever be a more in-depth vehicle training like the v new V11? Uh, well, each time uh, new vehicles come out and we update stuff and all that, yeah, they 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 don't make a new course. They just update the other course. Um, it's a little bit more of a refresher, whatnot. 
And I know the SFTT team has been talking about doing a refresher course that goes over all courses. Um, that's still in works. It's going to take a while for that to uh, be put together because it could potentially be a long one. Um, but yeah, I mean, with each new update, whether it be new guns added, new tanks, whatever it may be, that specific course will usually get updated. And just to add on that, sorry, Hyper. Uh, SOTT, sorry. we're not here to teach you guys how to play the game. That's something people need to remember is we're here to teach how to implement the assets into our operations. So don't expect a course where we're teaching you how to drive and gun the Bradley properly or anything like that. Uh, do you ever consider adding air vehicle mods into the op server? Uh, no, not at this time. Um, typically, we pretty much stay only to what is in the game. Uh, we haven't ventured uh, outside of that yet, just because we want to get our mod up and going first before we start meshing other mods with our mod, if that makes sense. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that we will ever stay away from that. Um, so as of right now, no. Down in the future, hmm, possibly. Uh, are donations critical, or is Squad Ops doing well in that regard? I mean, we'll always take donations. We'll never tell you to, uh, to never give us a donation. But we also won't go out and tell you guys to donate. But if you want to donate, go for it. It's up to you. However you feel fit. Uh, T, next few months. Uh, oh, for uh, forums, I don't know. I don't know when exactly the forums will be up. Uh, dev team, yeah, development team has a lot of uh, things on their plate. So it could take a while. Uh, I'm not for sure exactly when the forums will be out. Uh, do you ever consider adding air vehicles? Okay, I already that. Squad Ops probably has a long way to go in terms of design for air vehicles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not really. It's just more of the game needs to get added into it. Like, they need to add the shit into it. Uh, which, hopefully, it's not too far off as well. Uh, is there anything else? Donations? Okay, Squad Ops. I'm sorry, I'm trying to catch up now. Uh, can we get specialized training for people that are willing to sit through two, to a two to three hour class? Just a mix of it. anything that the other trainings don't do. Don't, okay, that's, that's what I was talking about. Um, SOTT team is putting together a refresher course uh, for you guys. That does also go over certain other things too. Um, that's not covered in any uh, of the other courses. Um, don't have a timeline up for it. They're still putting it together. Uh, however, once that does get introduced, you guys will have uh, something like that for you. We're going to do another cool clip contest. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll mention that and see what we can come up with, Dorf. Uh, what is the next big uh, project goal that you bleh, that you foresee? So, stop. I'm talking like most of the time. Okay, sorry. That was really hard for me to read. Uh, so, what is the next big project slash goal? Hmm. We honestly don't have anything yet, uh, to be honest. Um, the only thing that we could probably, th uh, that I, I could say for sure, well, not even for sure, but is maybe postscriptum. Once that comes out, we've dabbled about talking about maybe opening up to that. Um, however, like Karma was saying, that's months down the road. That's well, well beyond months down the road. And that's even if we even go into it. It depends on what it looks like when it gets released. Uh, released. Why am I addicted to this game? Believe me, I know. This game is really addicted. Uh, Arbo, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm not going to go over everything I just talked about. Is there any talk of tandem ops? Uh, tandem ops. Uh, like, so uh, what he means by tandem ops is having two ops running at once. No. Um, we've talked about it, but no, we don't have enough, uh, staff and, uh, that's pretty much it. Staff personnel to, uh, do that, especially our event admin people as well. So if you want to help out in that regards, come staff, help us out. Uh, type it out again, uh, Han, cause I didn't see it. Any plans on more updates? As of right now? No. Um, Friday. Saturday, or Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday are the only ones right now um, for the foreseeable future. Uh, however, as always, that could change. Uh, depends on how many staff we can get in and all that stuff. Uh, I mean, that's what it really comes down to is getting staff. 
It may seem like we have a lot of staff, but we really don't. Not to keep ops going for a whole bunch of other days. Uh, no, that is not the high, uh, not the one high on the list. Any plans on the SUL course for SOTT? Yeah, that's coming out next month. Supposedly. We'll see what happens. Um, SOTT is going to try to uh, run one next month. However, no promises. Are you guys looking for community members? No, we are not. Sorry, Arbo. As of right now, we are. Uh, my team is closed down right now. We're taking the naps. We're getting enough staff and SLs for OCE. What the hell is OCE? Are she animated? Yeah, because I need to know. What, are you talking about? Is that a, a time zone? It means Australia. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It's like Australia. Uh, yeah. Um, so as of right now, the only two ones we have right now, obviously, is our. Uh, EU and NA. I mean, that's our biggest areas. I know we have, we do have Australian people in here, but they're, I'm sorry to say it, but the really minority right now. Um, I know it sucks. I know it does. But however, once we uh, get more people, like I said, more people staff in here, we could actually offer maybe, maybe other time zones to uh, do events. Who knows? We'll see what happens. Any need for community staff? Okay, uh, I've already answered that one. Uh, and yeah, like he was saying, we do a lot of other stuff outside that is not ops uh, related, such as uh, CCFN, uh, SNS. Uh, we scrim against other clans. Um, so like, it's, it's not just that we're only busy on Tuesday, uh, or I'm sorry, uh, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. We're, we're busy pretty much throughout the week. Tuesday, I believe, is like our only off day besides Creeping, who does ops cast. Hey, Speaking yeah. of which, is Creeping, in, are you in here still? I am still in here. Are you going to try to do an upscast tomorrow? Yes, tomorrow night is going to be our uh, pre-recorded interview with the community team. Uh, that's led by Hyper Evo. Um, so it's just an interview with me, him, and a couple of his assistant team leads um, talking about what the community team does um, and what they enjoy and love about working with the community. So it is pre-recorded HML, yes. Um, some of the guys in the ops cast are from a couple different time zones. So trying to do it live wasn't going to be possible to include everyone. Um, but we really wanted to get everybody in on that. So it is pre-recorded. But uh, I know I'm going to be in the chat talking to you guys. Um, I don't know if Hyper is going to be able to make it for sure. But um, we'll probably have a few people in there. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be swamped all this week working and stuff. So we'll see what happens. I might be able to make it. It depends on what's going on with my uh, job. All right. Um, um, but then, yeah. But for the most part, um, for those of you who may not know, um, Opscast is the Squad Ops official podcast. Uh, I host it. Creeping. Um, we do have a Podbean that is in the README channel. It has an archive of all of the ops casts that have ever been run. And um, let's see, what else, what else? We normally like to do them live. It's uh, some discussions about the uh, game, the community, all that sort of stuff. We talk to some team leads. We have a few interviews with the devs. They're a little old now, but um, they're there. And we're looking to really improve uh, in the future, talking to some more devs, maybe expanding out to Postscriptum or Hell Let Loose, since they're some similar game types. Um, and eventually, we're going to be having, probably pretty soon now, an interview with Karma Cut himself about Squad Ops. Um, yeah, if anybody has any questions, you can feel free to ask me about that, too. All right, let me cut, get cut up this stuff real quick. Uh, what's up with the new, uh, new bot? You're not staff. You don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, it's just for our streamers. That's all it's for. Uh, it has nothing to do with uh, um, anything with staff. Well, I mean, it does have a little bit to do with staff. But it's mainly for streaming. Um, once SUL SOTT comes out, will it be mandatory for regs to have it before they can? Yes, that's what the point of uh, SUL is for, is to actually be mandatory to have that before you can even SL or command uh, into our ops. Obviously, when we roll these type of uh, things out we don't do it 
automatically to our be locked down. Uh, we do give a time for, uh, time frame to our uh, staff, which uh, will have priority first uh, for that stuff, and then to regs and then so forth. Uh, but as of right now, it won't be a locked thing until we get a couple people through. And yes, SUL, uh, which is small unit leadership, will take it, it's, it's a pass or fail, and it's going to be a lot harder than the FTL. FTL is semi pass or fail. Uh, SUL is definitely going to be one of those. Yeah, you're either going to be it or not because we don't want just anybody being in a a, a squ- uh, uh, an SL in our uh, operations just because we want to make sure they're given the good fullest potential that they can and not just fucking around on shit. Um, bu- 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 how long does SOT, SOTT training take? It takes, uh, it depends on the class. Uh, basic is usually 45 minutes to an hour. Vehicle is usually roughly about an hour. Um, AWS is right there around 45 to an hour as well. And then FTL, uh, that used, that's usually about an hour and a half or so uh, right now. Uh, especially since there's still still some uh, SOTT guys getting spun up on it and all that stuff. However, more, the more they train it, the faster it'll become. And SUL is probably going to be two hours long, I would imagine. But maybe a little less than that, hour and a half, somewhere around there. It's usually how it is when we first start uh, up our new uh, courses. Uh, do people fail LFTL? Uh, some people have failed FTL, some, not a lot. It's very, it's very few, very, very, very few. Uh, like I said, it is a pass or fail, but it's not. I mean, it, it's FTL, it's fire team leadership. If you don't know how to fire team lead a, squ- uh, a squad, then or at least a four man people, then yeah, it's maybe not for you. But everybody, even before we had this, people were doing FTL, you just didn't realize it, at least for some. Uh, 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 let me see. Need reg to be a POV streamer, right? Yes, you need to be a reg to be a POV streamer. Is it possible to play with you guys during one of your ops? Yeah, uh, go through our basic training, which you can find out all the info inside the Remy channel. 